Hey guys, it's Reno. Boy, is it hot. It is so hot. I'm literally sweating alive right now in my leathers. Dying. So hot, so hot, so hot. But it's nice. I mean, the only reason I'm like boiling right now is because I met some nice people up the uh, hill. I stopped there um, for an ice cream and a drink because I was really hot. I was like, um, I literally left the house and I was like, I actually really need a drink right now now because it's so hot out here. So, um, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to stop at the hill and get a drink because <laughs> it's damn hot outside. And um, I'm on a little mission today, a little filming mission, just trying to film some stuff. Um, like, I really want to make this video kind of like a little cheesy video about me and my bike. <laughs> Or about summer, it's going to be one of the two. It's going to be tweaked either way, or it could just be partly both. But yeah, it might be funny, it might be cool. I don't know. I just really wanted to do that. So I'm filming, finding place, nice places to film. I went up to the hills so I could film, and I filmed a little scene with me and my bike eating an ice cream. And it was quite funny. So I was, I was trying to film that. But yeah, and then I was about to leave to come down these roads, and then this guy was like chatting to me for ages about um, random stuff. He came with some people who had literally just passed their tests and they were riding out. And they hadn't done like the whole learn a bike thing like I've done. They literally just went straight onto the bigger bike. And then the woman that he was with was like then talking to me about like my A2 and telling me that it's gonna be easy apparently she was like oh don't worry about it like I've literally gone from no biking experience at all to riding a 650 so you should be fine <laughs> and I was like you know what I think you might be right I've been riding like a year and a half I have picked up some bad habits on my bike though which I need to get rid of and I am slowly getting rid of and I can do a U-turn, I know I can do a U-turn, I've done it before, I've done it recently, so I just need to stop worrying about stuff and just do stuff, because the more I think about it, the more I worry about it, the harder it is to do stuff, whereas if I just do it and just say to myself, look, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing, so just do it, and literally all will be well. So yeah, that's why I'm like boiling because I was in my jacket ready to leave and then he was talking to me for ages. They've actually gone to Lumi's as well, so I might end up seeing them in a bit because I might end up going to Lumi's, I'm not sure if I will. I'm just calming down these roads so that I can um, find some nice filming things and get some shots on the bike shots and just enjoy the weather because it's lovely and sunny and it's hot, it's so nice. It's like summer. Literally so happy. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> so this might end up being a little behind the scenes. I'm really excited about um, doing my A2. I really want to do it. Ah, wow, look at the cool little tiny car. Love it. I know there's like a lake pond thing here that I really want to like go to and every time I pass it and I'm like, oh, literally every single time I always pass it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I should like be scared by that or impressed by that. <laughs> it was quite dangerous turning. Prettiness. Look how pretty it is. Oh my god. This is the perfect place to film. Oh, I need to switch these over now. Note to self, guys, don't put 
put your memory card in your camera and take out your camera when your camera's on. <laughs> it's not not a good idea. I probably could have corrupted all of my data and I really hope I haven't corrupted any of it. Because if I have, I'll probably be mad. Yes, I finally found it guys. Finally found the little lake. Oh fucking hell, this is really, really uh, wobbly. It's all right here. Yes? Yes. Look at this little river though. I think it has fishies in. We shall find out. But I'm really happy to be here because I love nature and all that kind of stuff. Let's have a quick look first. Kind of a bit scared though, because it seems like it could be a place for double. And there's stuff in there, so who knows what goes on in this place. Wow, look at this. I always see this place and I always forget to stop here. Now I actually can stop here. I want to like... <laughs> I'm going to fall in. I swear to God I'm going to fall in. I don't see any fishies. But wow, it's so pretty. Is that a little bridge? This might be the fishing place. Or it's part of the River Mion. I did a school trip about that once actually. We had to follow the River Mion from the source, which I think is Butser Hill, all the way to where it ends up, which is in the sea. It was a pretty fun little trip actually. Am I going to have to walk all the way down there just to find a little bridge? I think I'm going to switch to my other camera guys because I don't want to be walking with my helmet on for ages which means I'm going to have to leave my helmet here but there's like literally no one around so I don't think it's going to get stolen and I will be here I'm not going to let my stuff get stolen <laughs> if I go any further I just tie it to the bike right I'll see you in the next video or oh, not the next video the other camera bye bye Excuse my hair, it's a bit of a mess, but I was like crouched down here. Literally crouched here, like this. I don't know if you can really see. And <laughs> this sort of like this cute little old couple came with their dog. And the guy came with the dog and the dog was like coming over here and um, literally like went into the water and he was throwing this massive stick for it. But <laughs> but like and he was just oh, I originally thought you were having a pee and I was like <laughs> No, no, I'm not peeing, I'm just filming stuff. <laughs> he let me film his dog, so maybe I'll show that in the video, because it was very cute. <laughs> Aww. She's she wants uh, that massive. Very persistent little dog. <laughs> Is it okay if I film her? Yeah. No. Oh. She's determined, isn't she? Oh yes, she loves you. <laughs> I just can't believe the size of the uh, she branch wants. she wants, yeah. You can play a ball with her all day. And you yeah. Can, she'll drop it down and say, that's not close. She'll bring it a bit closer, she'll pick it up and bring it to you. <laughs> so cute. Oh, she is. It was like the tiniest dog with this massive branch that was literally huge and I was just like, how even are you doing that? But yeah, look at this. So pretty. I love places like this where you have like water and you've got all the greenery everywhere. Literally one of my favourite things ever. And I wasn't really having a great day this morning. Well, I say this morning because I got up like mega late. Um, I thought, just let's just go out because if I don't go out, I'm going to end up having a terrible day. So I went out and literally this has just made my day. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to try and find other places to somehow get and film the lake because I think I can cross the road. But oh, there's people over there. Hide, run and hide. 
Yeah, I think I can cross the road to get there, but I'm not sure. Apparently there's a famous pub down here as well, which maybe I'll check out at some point in the future. Um, yeah, so the mission continues. But, oh, look how pretty it is. I love it. I love it. Pretty. I'm literally trapped in this little uh, place, kind of climbed over it to get in here. I don't think that's allowed. I'm literally like watching my helmet over there, making sure no one nicks it. I see you. I think I found a new favourite place. I've literally parked my bike up, really hoping nothing happens to it. I doubt anyone's going to do anything to it because there's no one around here anyway. But oh, this is so nice and there's a little walk you can go down. So I'm exploring that, filming some stuff. And this little video that I've been trying to film, it was mainly supposed to be about me and my bike and um, about summer. I couldn't decide whether to just do it about summer and like the love for riding, you know, the love that like a rider has for their bike and riding and stuff like that, you know. And um, now it's turning out to just be nature -y. Like, oh, look at all these lovely nature shots. And now it's kind of like me sharing um, my love for nature with you guys, which maybe the video might end up being. Where's that thing still? Okay, now I'm at a farm. Oh, no, I'm still at a walkway. Oh, I'm on the south. I'm on the south down. Well, oh, okay, I, did, I, thought it was, I thought the south downs was further away. But no, it's such a nice day as well, although I am boiling alive, like partly dying, but look, look at all this, South Downs walkers, oh apparently I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to go this way, wait how are you, how are you supposed to go, how are you supposed to go that way, I ain't going through there, I think the entrance to the farm is like down there, so I can only really go this way. Now I'm on the, one of the South Downs walks, which I actually have been down before because I did um, the uh, Duke of Edinburgh award. Well, actually, I kind of did and didn't. I ended up failing it because I fainted on the actual uh, test and they had to send me home and I was like, look, please, just give me like 20 minutes. I'll probably be fine. And then all I have to do is walk home and talk to myself. No, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hiya. <coughs> Most awkward moment of my life, just talking to myself. I didn't expect to see anyone and see people. Whoops! <laughs> I was talking so loudly as well. Oh dear. But then I suppose more people can accept that stuff these days because they're just like, oh, it's just one of those people making a little video blog. But I must look like a little sad loner because I'm just walking by myself. In, in like bike gear, in like woods, well not woods, but in prettiness. It's so pretty here guys, honestly. This is literally now my new favorite place. I don't wanna go too far, it's like kind of late. But yeah, I'm enjoying myself. This is good, this is good. Look at this. I'm literally just getting hay fever walking through here. I don't even have hay fever, but I'm getting it. I swear to God. I think I'm just gonna go back because I could just carry on walking, but I kind of need to go home and eat at some point. <laughs> but yeah, literally this is, made me feel 10 times better. I wasn't really having a great um, day to start with. And now I feel great. I literally, I love any nature -y thing it is like great to me. I just love it just love it all it's so nice this place as well but there's just so many like so much pollen literally walking through that oh my nose but yeah i'm gonna stop filming now because there's people around here somewhere and they're gonna see me talk thanks for joining me on the uh, little adventure and the um behind the scenes video hope you enjoyed it Whoa. getting attacked by things hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one
Oh my god, somehow a fly has like gone directly landed inside there. Like inside my drift mount. I don't know if he's alive or dead. He's just stuck in there. Let's see if I can try and get him out. Poor little thing. Just trapped. I think he's dead to be honest. How weird's that? 